I just really wanted to talk about the whole Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite because I just didn't know there were going to be more Marvel vs. Capcom games to come, to be honest. I just, I never really heard about it. Others know, but I didn't know a thing about it because I didn't even get to play Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I mean, I played it for like maybe a couple, of, like five minutes mass, and that wasn't even mine. It was like a friend of mine's. And I heard, like, you know, you could get the Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, which I'm gonna buy later on, like, maybe a couple weeks. But, also, I'm just surprised that they're continuing this, and this could probably be the last one. Because it's called Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, it's not like anything else. And, I've always been a fan of Marvel vs. Capcom games, honestly, I really have. I love the games, I played one, I played two, I still have two, matter of fact, on my PS3, actually, the funny thing is. And it's still a great game, it still is. And this trailer looked amazing. I love the fact they had Captain Marvel in there. Like, I was just, I didn't actually expect to see her in there. Not one bit at all. Let like, alone her going freaking super mode over there. Going, looking like a Super Saiyan. And they had Mega Man, Mega Man S now. Thank God. I'm actually glad they see him in there. I'm just, you know, I want a Mega Man S game. You know, it's been a while since we had one. Give me a remaster. You give me a remaster Crash Bandicoot. You can give me a remaster fucking Mega Man S. I'm just saying. But it's good to see, you know, Tony Stark and, you know, Iron Man, technically, and all of them again. The same characters that they had in there for time and time again. But you know what a lot of people wonder is that the S-Men are going to be in there because they're more like, they're half like Foss property. And honestly, I hope they are in there because they've been in there since the beginning. I mean, they pretty much started the crossover with the S-Men versus Street Fighter. I just feel like the S-Men should be in there because there's a lot of great characters in that. And also, there's a lot of Marvel characters that they should add that they didn't have before. I mean, I'm not sure who all they, they incorporated really in 3, but I'm pretty sure that there's a certain amount of people that were at it and some that didn't need to be at it. Just like what they did with Super Smash. There's like some characters that they did put in there, some they didn't put in there. Like, come on, Omar, really? But it's just something that I hope is really good, and I'm pretty sure there'll be, like, another version of it, like, probably Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Which I'm probably going to buy that instead of buying the first one. Because, hey, you never know. They might have a like, season pass for like S-Men, if anything. You never. It's just a big guess. Gamble on my point. One thing that I didn't realize at first, but now that I find really interesting that they did with uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, was that they showed Mega Man grabbing one of the freaking gems. And that's actually interesting because they're going to probably add that into play. But... What they could do is miss it with what Capcom has their own little stones from Power Stones. If you guys remember that Capcom game, that was a great Capcom game. It was one of the, my favorite games, honestly. I based it on, it was like part two was the best one, in my opinion. But they could actually compare it to that and introduce those characters. I'm not saying give every character a Power Stone. I'm just saying you could get, you gotta get my boy, I can't remember his name, but he wore a red jacket, like. That was my favorite character. Just add him and I'm all set. Got to add the Infinity Gems because that reminds me of the first game where they were like that. Then you could basically, you know, once slows you down, gets you more attacks on your enemy. But the only bad thing about this, if this is online, I, just, I see this getting annoying. I can see that getting very fucking annoying. It's like having a sis on One Piece Burning Blood. But I'm actually gonna look for. I'm actually looking real forward to like using that and seeing who could be in it. I'm not sure who this main antagonist is supposed to be. Who's just sitting? I mean. It could probably be a cross between, I'm, it could probably be a cross between, like, who knows, like, pro in a way, it could be Ultron, from what it's looking like, from the, I, I mean, from a way, it could be Ultron, from what it's looking like, at the same time, it has to be somebody else, it has to be a combination of the two, kind of like how DC versus Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat versus DC did it, with Dark Kong, I mean, he's shit anyways, but, I feel like Marvel vs. Capcom know what they're doing. I mean, for goddamn sake, come on, there's Marvel behind these people. Capcom has a few good stuff behind them. So I'm just saying, I feel like it could probably work in its own. I really like the concept and idea of it being Ultron mixed with Sigma, because that would be good. And only that, it just, it kind of goes, honestly. This could be a way to express a new way to bring out Mega Man, a Mega Man new game. I am just saying, I'm sorry, I really want a Mega Man game. Come on, man, please. Whenever I start Geek Guys, I'm signing off. Like if you dare, subscribe if you care. And tell me how you feel about the trailer. And if you liked it, if you did, or if you not, it doesn't matter. How do you feel about Marvel's Hellcon in general as a whole franchise? Like if you dare, subscribe if you care. I'm like a star, I'm burning out fast. I try to shine.